In this video, I'm going to give you one tip that is going to make your defense 10 times better in Madden 23, and I actually think it's going to make it better in all of the future Maddens that you're going to play. What's good, guys? My name is Cody. I want to welcome you here to the YouTube channel. Also, we're talking today about the dollar defense, but you can apply this to really any defense. If you want to get better at playing defense in Madden, uh, we actually dropped on our Patreon a deep dive into the dollar defense, and within that ebook, it actually talks about five key adjustment concepts that you can start to utilize to shut down any level of player. We're talking about beginner players, uh, intermediate players, advanced players, comp players, everything. It's all in there and it's in a five tier system for you to be able to, to uh, easily digest it for whatever level of player that you are. And so if you're not a Patreon member yet, it's only $10. And I guarantee you that if you sign up today, it's gonna make you a better Madden player. You can sign up by clicking the link down in the description. But what we're gonna do today is we're gonna talk about one tip that I believe that will literally make your defense 10 times better in Madden every single year. Uh, this has been something that has been good in Madden 17, in Madden 18, in Madden 19, in Madden 20, in Madden 21, in Madden 22, and in Madden 23. And I believe it's gonna certainly be uh, there for us in Madden 24. So what we're going to do is we're going to come out in a meta defense against a meta formation. Um, I'm on, I think I'm in the Bengals playbook today, and we're going to be talking about a really, really good way to slow down the tight slots halfback weeks, one of the best offenses um, in the game. We have that full ebook in the Patreon as well. Um, if you do get in the Patreon today, you get everything. You get all of the offenses, all the defense, everything for just 10 bucks. okay? Um, and then coaching adjustment-wise, it really doesn't matter what coaching adjustments you're going to do. Um, I'll show it to you out of nickel first, and then uh, we'll get into dollar, which is a little bit more meta. Uh, but here it is. This was actually, and again, I'm pretty sure this was good before Madden 17, but Madden 17 was where it was really popularized. And it is basically this, this simple concept, which basically means uh, we're, we're going to send pressure out of, out of a cover two shell. OK, uh, and what we're going to do to make this a really, really good defense is we're going to do one thing. OK, so we're going to set up our blitz. How are you set up the blitz? OK, in this example, you're going to pinch your defense. Maybe you're going to crash your line outside. OK, very popular set. Now, the next thing that you're going to do, um, we can baseline and press this just because, you know, whatever. Um, but the, the big key to this is you're going to walk these safeties that are in deep halves down into the inside so that they can play the seam streak area of the field and they can help your user out even though they're still in a deep blue zone okay this is literally concept of the year on the defensive side of the ball okay so you're going to send your pressure now um you're going to send your, your five man pressure off the off the left if you look at this formation you take it at just face value of what this formation does well um you can obviously set up different coverages uh for what your opponent might be doing like one of my favorite things to do would be something like this and then i know that my job is to lurk the middle of the field i have to lurk the entire entirety of the middle of the field but if you watch this real quick let's say they set up a, a kind of a standard meta route combo like this you'll notice that you're also timing your coverage with the pressure and that's what makes it really 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 powerful now i'm going to show you how to do the same thing on a dollar here in just a second but i did want to show you in replay again this is a pretty meta route combo uh this year and basically what you're going to see is this flood play you've got this flat your user has to lurk the middle from that post route but you don't have to you don't have to lurk the drag for long you can pass the drag off to this flat and then you can work back up in the middle but the cool part about this play is if your user comes down like this this deep half defender especially if you have mid zone knockout on your safety so i really recommend doing because you brought them down into the box it's a lot it's a lot more difficult to make this throw in the middle of the field because if he tackles him he's going to drop the ball because you have mid zone knockout okay now come over here real quick um by bringing this safety down he's going to do a good job of guarding the initial route that is the corner route and then he's also going to transition to this clear out route and then we actually put this guy at a quarter uh, and these quarters can do pretty good for especially if they're baseline impressed uh stopping short side corner routes okay so that's the basic idea now you can build around this in a lot of different ways it actually cross applies the, the cool part about this principle it's not just a zone coverage principle it actually cross applies his uh to man coverage 
and match coverage this year. So um, let's say, for example, that I wanted to run more of a dollar uh, meta, and I'm going to put my zone coverage on match. And we can set a couple audibles here. We'll have a man audible, which is going to be spinner. And then we'll have, uh, we'll actually create that. Uh, and then we'll have cover six. Cover six is a, a match coverage out of dollar. Okay. And then we'll come back out in the same play. Okay, so everything everything is exactly the same. Um, it's just different formation, of course. So we're gonna press now. Look how deep these safeties are. So if I don't bring them down, this is what is going to happen to you every single time in Madden twenty three, and I would argue it happens to you a lot in other Maddens as well. Um, but here's what it basically it boils down to: they can throw this all day long, and that mid zone knockout safety will never threaten the post route or the seam streaks. They can sit here and they can literally throw seam streaks every single time. There's nothing you can do about it unless, and, and the other thing that's actually interesting is even if, let's say I man these guys up. So let's say I did, um, you know, let's say I did a coverage that looks something like this, for example. I want you to watch the corner route to St. Brown. You're gonna notice that this corner route is going to get really consistent separation against that corner. And he's able to get enough separation to the fact that the KO doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter that I have a KO there. Now watch this. If I walk this guy down about 10 yards and I man him up, you will notice that they actually play better in man-to-man -man coverage. So everything being equal, we're going to man this guy up on Carmichael. But you don't want him to be too close to line of scrimmage. But again, about 8 to 10 yards, kind of the sweet spot. And what you'll see is this corner route does still win. Um, but if you shade outside, that can help. There are ways to, to basically help this. But the bottom line is, I think, you know, even like, for example, manning this guy up on him and then bracketing with a quarter, you know, something like this, kind of a little bit of an adjusty uh, setup here. But this is not too bad, uh, especially if you're a player that likes to only send four. This is one of the best coverages in the game for tight slots. And you're still sitting four, so you're still going to get pressure, okay? Uh, but anyway, the point being these cross main and the safeties, when you bring them down, is really, really good. And so now that's bracketed, and you see he's actually able to pick off the route um, that was open consistently no matter what coverage I was in. The same principles all apply to match coverage. So if I want to run match, bring these guys down, you'll notice that a lot of the match bombs, they don't work. Uh, when you do this. So you'll see here's one of the best plays in the game and this will absolutely just cage that corner route. And and literally all you have to do, what I like to recommend, especially if you want to do this at a dollar, come out in DB fire, audible into cover six, because they won't be able to tell what you're doing and then walk these guys down. And now I'm using this guy right here. Now what I would really recommend is taking the deep blue off the field and just blitzing your user. Now what you are able to do is your vert hook will have matching principles. That hook curl in the middle of the field, you might want to ban him up or just leave him in the middle of the field. Honestly, it's not a big deal. Uh, but the beauty of this is found in the fact that it is really uh, – and, and here's an example – I mean, you see, I mean, just the match cover just cages this entire concept. So um, biggest tip in Madden, in my opinion, defensively, is walk your safeties down every single time out of every single formation in every single cover show that you are in. Walk your safeties down. If you're in spinner, if you're in spinner here, walk them down it is so important and they will play so much better for you defensively and then also one last little bonus tip for those of you that are still watching the video pass commit if you pass commit out a dollar the pressure will come in pretty much every single time it's what makes pass commit such a good uh, feature in this year's game guys thanks for watching the video if you want to learn more about how to become a better defensive player join the patreon ten dollars get you access to everything in the patreon including that entire deep dive that dives super deep on the concepts of adjusting it teaches you how to make very high level adjustments it also teaches you how to adjust with the purpose so that you're not wasting your energy trying to put meaningless adjustments on the field for all of that stuff, join the Patreon. You get every ebook, everything in there for just 10 bucks. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.